Well, something that was once part of Canada's cultural landscape is making a comeback. They're called Heritage Minutes, short films that showcase great moments and great people in Canadian history. Back in the 90s, they were so popular, they spawned a whole bunch of parodies. Now, as Shirley Engel reports, they're coming back to a TV near you. Before the sun falls behind these hills, our enemy will have fallen before you. They're the iconic short films that taught Canadian history to a generation. Held off the Americans for hours to help. We got this exclusive sneak peek at the latest Heritage Minute to be launched Wednesday. 60 of these vignettes have aired on TV and in theaters since the 1990s. If you're anywhere between about 25 and 40, chances are that you grew up watching these. Richard Pierpoint was enslaved in Senegal. And Ottawa is funding six more of these short films. The Historica Dominion Institute will produce two a year until Canada's 150th birthday in 2017. Burnt toast. Dr. Penfield, I can smell burnt toast. They took up so much airtime, several spoofs were made. Cut, cut, cut. Peter, I need a little more out of you on the baskets line. So how do they choose which milestones become minutes? It's a combination of research in the sense we will poll, we do ask a lot of people, we talk to people in the history sector, we ask Canadians what they want. We did just that and found many Canadians have a more recent sense of history. Tommy Douglas, given the significance of what he did for the country in terms of the Medicare and stuff like that. Chris Hadfield would be a good one right now. The Heritage Minister suggested Terry Fox. Because of his bravery and courage and self-sacrifice, millions of people's lives have been saved. Two more are already in the works. Sir John A. Macdonald in anticipation of his bicentennial and Sir George Etienne Cartier, the French father of Confederation whose 200th birthday is also coming up. Producers want to focus on the stories we've all but forgotten. They may not necessarily be well-known things, but they speak to a greater significance of a community, an ethnic group, a language group, or a moment in time that really changed history. Oh my God. The common thread? They shaped who we are as a nation today. Shirley Engel, Global News, Ottawa.